Wow. That, that is El Clasico. That is, what, that is what El Clasico can do to you. I mean, I'm, I mean, every single one of you guys listening to this, what, what just happened? I mean, it was a performance. Before I go on about the performance, this was a game where there was a lot of talk beforehand about maybe this could be another 5 0. Real Madrid are on bad form. And everything like that was correct. You know, we were much superior coming into the game. But as it kicked off and as the, the first 10 minutes went by, you thought. You know what? You know it's all about it's all about the result today. It's not about the performance. All we had to do was get over the line, get that three points. Because when Matthew's header went in, you had the feeling of let's just get over the line. We need these fourth point gap in the league. We need this momentum. There's an international break next week, so it was so important that we got the three points. We got a very very big psychological win over Real Madrid as well. But it was a very very hard fought win because give credit to Real Madrid here. The first half. They, they were outstanding. They really were outstanding. And it was a combination of them being very, very good at what they were doing. They stuck to a game plan. They were very, very disciplined in what they were doing. And also a fact that we gave the ball away far, far too many times. And we did miss Sergio Busquets in this game. If there's anybody who's ever questioned his importance to our team, have a little look at this game here. Because what we did miss was... Just that bit of control and that bit of you know calmness in the midfield because in the first half of the game, Real Madrid were pressing us. They were very, very high energy. They made sure they, they stopped us from playing out the back. And that middle bit in midfield, you know, where Mascherano was getting the ball and Iniesta as well was capable of it, they were giving the ball away in silly, silly areas. They were being pressed into mistakes and Real Madrid were just coming on to us. It wasn't about counter-attacks. You know, it wasn't about that. They were building pressure and in the end, you know, it almost told for them. You know, they were banging on the door and we were very, very, very lucky to go in at 1-0. Very, very lucky indeed because they created chances. And I want to quickly address the offside call because there's a lot of people saying it's the wrong call. Bale wasn't offside. The offside was not given because of Bale who scored the goal. It was given because Ronaldo was actually offside when he flicked the ball on to Gareth Bale. So that was why the offside call was given. But I mean, in terms of the game itself, it was a game, I think, that beforehand, looking at the stadium, looking at the mosaic... It was a really incredible feeling around it today. And the players went out there. And in the first half, they didn't arrive. They didn't arrive. But the second half, you have to give them nothing but praise. And Luis Enrique as well. Because like I said, we were lucky to win at 1-1. But you always felt that feeling as though Real Madrid in that first half really produced their best football and their best way of playing. And in the second half, there was only room for improvement. And the way the boys came out, they did a completely different game. Completely different game. Because what we did in that second half, we started pressing ourselves. The front three in the first half, I thought, were a bit static. We usually see them during games interchanging. Messi would come in the middle. Suarez would go out right. Neymar would come central. They didn't do any of that. They were all very static in the first half. And we didn't really press from the front three. And when you press from the front, it doesn't allow Real Madrid to play around with it. Because Cruz and Modric in that first half had far, far too much control over the game. In the second half, they, like we were in the first half, were pressed into mistakes. And they got tired. They couldn't press for the entire 90 minutes. And when we could get into those positions to play our football, we did it really, really well. And I thought the players... That really do need to be highlighted and my man of the match by an absolute country mile was Gerard Piquet and that is so so nice to say because a player who's got so much criticism over the last few years whose confidence has been dented and to be fair him himself will be feel disappointed with his previous performances in recent years but right now this season the last few months he is by far one of the most informed centre-backs in world football and I honestly believe that I did a podcast a few days ago saying about Gerard Piquet and tonight he was absolutely flawless he made some vital interceptions, he was commanding in the air, he was a real leader tonight and that's what I want to see him producing for Barca being that leader at the centre back, controlling things, because when it went in the box tonight when the ball was played into the box, you thought Piquet's going to be there, and that's the reaction you want to have to a centre back who was so commanding tonight and dealt with absolutely everything brilliantly Mattia wasn't too bad as well, alongside him, got a very, very vital goal. And I thought tonight, Danny Alves and Jordi Alba, in the first half, they were awful, absolutely awful. They kept giving the ball away. And to be fair, in the first half, Piquet was the only good player. Everybody else gave the ball away. Everyone else was a little bit lethargic. But in the second half, those two were massive. Defensively, they were solid. And going forward, they really stretched Real Madrid. And the energy that Jordi Alba and Danny Alves gave in that second half was outstanding. And I think both of them deserve special credit for that. Jordi Alba's run in the second half, which very very, very nearly ended in a goal. Also, you know, that just highlights how, you know, impressive he was down that left-hand side and the energy that he gave us, stretching Real Madrid and forcing them back. And in doing so, Bale and indeed Ronaldo 
didn't really get in the game in the second half, specifically Bale, because he was quite dangerous coming to the end of the first half. But Jordi Alba's runs made sure that Bale had to keep going back in his own half. He was picking the ball up very deep. He didn't get in the game, and it was very, very good to see them doing that. Mascherano had a mixed game. I thought in the first half he didn't really control things. But at the same time, he's not that really he's not that midfield player. He's not really all about control. He's about physicality. He's very, very good on the ball. He can play the long passes, but he's not quite about controlling the tempo. That's why we needed Busquets and a quick word on Luis Enrique's substitutions. I thought he did this really well. I thought you know that what he did with the substitutions, he brought on Busquets, he brought on Rafinha, and what what he did was, and he you know brought on Xavi as well. And what that allowed us to do was not only slow the game down, make sure that Real Madrid were tiring, but also have that bit of control. Because once we got that second goal, and I'm going to come on to that in a minute, don't worry about that. Once we got that second goal, we needed that control of the game. Just to slow things down, just to tell Real Madrid, you know what, you're not getting back into this. You can sit back, you can you can play deep now. The game's slowing down, you're not going to hit us on the counter-attack. And it was really, really good to see. And I thought Luis Enrique tonight, at halftime, you said to him, earn your money. Go and do what you have to do. Get this team playing at a level which can win this game. And it was not a pretty performance. We didn't absolutely wipe the floor with them. But in the second half, we played much, much better. And tonight, looking at that, it was a team performance. It was a team display. And that's what you want to see. A unit working together, working hard for each other. They all understood their roles. And while the first half was very, very poor, the second half gives us so much to be positive about. Because that was a team display showing real confidence and showing real desire to go out there and get the win today. And that was so, so pleasing. And let's talk about the goal. Luis Suarez, again, a man who's come under criticism, not from our own supporters really, but from ev- everywhere else. You know, he's a flop. He doesn't. He's not worth the money. He's not fitting in at Barcelona. That's what he gives you. Today, he was very, very good. He was up against Ramos and Pepe. To be fair, two centre-backs, which have been on good form for most of this season. He was up against those two, and he did all the dirty work. He was backing in. He was holding the ball up. He was making the runs in behind. He was, he was tracking back and pressing. He was really, really impressive in that second half. When I talk about pressing from the front, he was one of the main parts of that. And what he did for his goal was outstanding. It was a ball over. Danny Alves, I think, played it over. And it was he did give us that option. A few times we looked for him. We stretching the rail. We did back four with the long balls over the top. And that's what Suarez can give you. He can run in behind. It was a brilliant run. It was a well-timed pass. But it's the first touch of Suarez which gives him such a chance. It's a brilliant first touch. And the finish is exquisite. It's a cross he could see us. He's got no chance. And it's cool. It's calm. It's composed. And it was a vital, vital goal. And it won us the game. Everything said and done, it's a match winner. And that's what Luis Suarez can do. And I'm so, so pleased for him because he's really deserved that. His performances of the last few weeks have really been bordering on that level. And he had a massive impact on tonight's game. Quick word on Neymar as well. A lot of criticism for him because of his greediness in and around the area. What I will say is... Tonight, he made some very, very bad decisions and bad errors in terms of finishing, in terms of laying on opportunities for other teammates. But let's face it, he did cause Real Madrid problems, running at them, trying to make space. He tracked back when he needed to as well. Um, And he did cause them problems when he was running directly at them. So to be fair, he did make some bad decisions, but you've got to give him credit in the same way that he was lively. He was very, very good on the ball. His dribbling was very, very good in in the second half. He gave the ball away far too many times in the first half. But again, there was a big improvement in his performance. And Lionel Messi, he didn't have an awful lot to do in the first half, much like you know the rest of the team, like I've said. But in the second half, he had those moments where he just kept the ball. When Real Madrid were trying to force attacks, when they were trying to put the pressure on, he showed ice cool composure, keeping the ball close to him, dribbling around. It was really special to watch him, you know, tonight. He didn't have a dazzling display like against Manchester City, but there was chances in that game where he created for Suarez, for Neymar. He was very, very close to himself. He could see us denying him, and uh, he did prevent the, the the loss from being worse for Real Madrid. Because yes, he made some very good saves. One from Jordi Alba. There was another chance for Neymar that he that he put wide. Um, and he did prevent it. But I thought in the second half, particularly, you've got to look at that performance and you've got to be pleased with what the team did and what Luis Enrique did with his substitutions and the fact that he did get an extra level out of them in the second half. But mostly, it wasn't about the performance. It was about the result. We've won the game. It's a huge, huge win. It's a psychological boost going into the international break. And most importantly, it's four points clear now at the top of the league going into a very, very hectic April period for us. We've got to go into that with good confidence. We're going to be doing that. Special performance tonight from PK. Oh, and by the way, as well, bravo. 
bravo, 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 Claudio Bravo. Because what a save he made when Benzema shot. There was a one in the second half early on. Benzema shot across him. He made a good save. You may well expect it to make that sort of save. But the one a bit later on from that. Benzema hits the shot. It takes a deflection off PK. And what a save that is. Reflex down to his left-hand side. And again, those are big, big moments in big, big matches. And tonight, Bravo delivered. So, a brilliant team performance. Leave your thoughts down below. I am buzzing. It's been a brilliant night. We've got the three points. Vesca, El Barça.